Well, here we are at the start of another ministry season, and those of you who are sensing God has called you to be involved in Koinonia ministry, let me again say how greatly we value the ministry that you're involved in. You are really the frontline people in terms of pastoral care and meeting the needs of those whom God has given us to serve here at Trinity. We're hoping that we're going to have more and that you will be uh, being stretched because there'll be new people coming in. Connect Month is a time where we're really looking forward to the Lord, enabling us to connect with some people who are on the fringes or maybe brand new, brand new to the Lord or brand new to uh, being involved in a Koinonia group. So thank you for your involvement in ministry. I know at this time of year, everything's looking fresh and real, and uh, it'll be a few months from now where you're in the trenches and wondering whether this is worth it. Your labor's not in vain in the Lord. So thank you. Thank you in the name of the Lord Jesus for serving his people. This fall, we're going to be looking at an issue that really is right up close with all of us. We want to talk about, I'm not sure whether we're going to call it yet love in the city or pure desire, but we want to talk about our own sexual being and what God has called us to be in that. Uh, we look around and we recognize that marriage is in trouble. I'm not just thinking of the fact that we've got a constitutional amendment coming up in California, but newspaper accounts recently have talked about how many people are choosing cohabitation over marriage. Divorce continues to be a major problem. And even those who are married know what it is to struggle. So we want to jump in right in the heart of that. We want to talk about what marriage is as intended by God, that it's not just a remnant of our culture. It is God's intention built into our design. But like all of God's design, uh, there was no flaw in God's intention, but there's a flaw within us because of sin. So what does sin do? Not only to marriage, but to our sexuality. How do we understand what it means to connect our spiritual life and our sexual life? There's a giant gap that people have built in our modern world by making a difference between spirituality, which is all about my choices, and sexuality. Uh, rather than any reference point to what God's standard is. And then we want to talk quite directly about what it means to live a pure life, what it means to bring glory to God by the way I use my body, what it means to bring glory to God by faithfulness within the marriage relationship. We want to look at the beautiful picture that's given of uh, our sexual being and marriage in the Song of Solomon. We want to talk about very practical issues, pornography, uh, modesty. Well, what does that look like for a woman? We want to talk about temptation and how we wrestle with temptation to keep on track as we live our lives. And then we're going to shift and think about how do we parent kids in a culture that's an R-rated culture? How do we um, live a single life that's honoring and glorifying to God? And, and what if I've fallen? What, what if I've blown it? Uh, is that what I'm going to live with for the rest of my life, or does God have something for me? You're going to be in the front lines of this, and we're going to be uh, looking together at the Word of God and using that as our basis and having, I think, some really challenging conversations. And I know that we're going to be stretched, but I pray that we'll know that God is meeting with us and that we will see ourselves and the people we're called to lead live different lives because of the time that we're spending in these very practical and personal issues. So thank you again for what you are doing to make Trinity Church a place where God is loved, where people are loved, where the gospel is shared, and where the world is being served. Thank you for that in Christ's name.